Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the top 5 trends in the finance and business world that you need to know about. The first trend that we're going to talk about is the rise of cryptocurrency. In recent years, we've seen the emergence of digital currencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, and they're gaining more mainstream acceptance. With more and more companies accepting cryptocurrency as payment, it's clear that digital currencies are here to stay. The second trend we're going to talk about is the growth of e-commerce. With the pandemic forcing people to shop online, e-commerce has exploded, and it's not slowing down at any time soon. If you're a business owner, it's more important than ever to have a strong online presence and a user-friendly website. The third trend is the rise of sustainable investing. Investors are increasingly looking to put their money into companies that have a positive impact on the environment and society. As more people become aware of climate change and social issues, sustainable investing is likely to become even more popular. The fourth trend is the growth of fintech. Financial technology companies are changing the way we bank, invest, and manage our money. From mobile banking to robo-advisors, fintech is making financial services more accessible and convenient for everyone. Finally, the fifth trend we're going to talk about is the increasing importance of data analytics. In today's data-driven world, businesses that can analyze data and make informed decisions have a competitive advantage. Whether you're a small business owner or a large corporation, data analytics can help you understand your customers better and make smarter business decisions. And that's it for our top 5 trends in finance and business. As you may know, inflation is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising. Inflation can have a significant impact on the economy and the stock market. When inflation rates rise, the value of money decreases, leading to a decrease in purchasing power. This can lead to an increase in prices for goods and services and can result in higher interest rates. Higher interest rates can affect the stock market as well, as it can decrease the amount of money businesses and consumers can borrow, which can lead to a decrease in spending and ultimately, lower profits for businesses. However, there are ways investors can protect themselves from the effects of inflation. One way is to invest in assets that tend to increase in value during inflationary times, such as real estate and commodities. As always, it's important to do your research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Another way is to invest in companies that can pass on the increased costs of goods and services to consumers, which can help protect their profit margins. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great content. Thanks for watching.